Boy, Reddit's on fire over this blog post because uh, there's no information on the orb opening event. If you're interested in watching a video on what I'm doing with my orbs now that we have no information until at least middle of next month, uh, check the link up at the top right hand corner where I talk specifically about the orb opening event. All right, because that's what everybody really wants to know. And and they, they, they see all the frustration on Reddit, the developers can see the frustration, they're just not responding. So there's just no information. Um, that is a separate entire video. If you wanna watch that, go watch that. This is about the information that's actually in the blog post. Uh, most importantly, we've got a realignment of the legendary schedule. They they pushed up uh, Ebony Ma, and then it looks like we're gonna, you know, Ebony Ma was on the 14th. My guess is that Shuri is going to be on the 18th, on the 28th. They said that's going to be the next one. And then they said Doc Ock is going to be after that. So I'm going to say that Doc Ock is going to be on the 11th. Those are my predictions. And then we're going to get the third and final Emma Gold Milestone event. Let's read the rest of the blog post. Tons of information in here. Greetings, Commander. It's been a long year, but 2021 is nearly among us. Our studio will be uh, using the upcoming holiday as a time to recharge your batteries, which means this is the last blog post of the year, but that doesn't mean the fun will stop. We close out 2020 and prepare for 2021. We've got a Russian winter celebration heading your way, shining milestones to hit, and even more events than you can fit underneath a Douglas fir tree. Bundle up, comrades! And let's kick things off with one of the strike time strikes upcoming new members, Red to Winter. So this is going to be like a, a, a release, kind of like the way that Cyclops was released, if you remember that. Uh, keep your roster warm with big rewards and upcoming red winter event in addition to avalanche of gear this is your first chance to stuff your stockings with red guardian character shards deep freeze orb earn deep freeze orb fragments by the events milestones and then open them to earn gold gear and shards for select characters with a limited time season trait with red guardian at a higher drop rate so this is going to be like the way that Cyclops was released, right? Red alert milestones. Put enemies on an ice in Blitz and Arena using characters with the season trait. Score points by winning in Blitz and competing in Arena. Win or lose to turn Red Guardian shards, deep freeze, orb fragments, and more. Okay. Crimson Affair milestone. Team up with your alliance in raids using season characters earn core rewards, deep freeze, orb fragments, gear pieces, and L3 training uh, modules. Okay. Not a big deal. And then the red winter milestones. Score points by opening deep freeze orbs to earn red guarding characters and shards and other rewards. And so it looks like Elena is going to be Blitz. And they'll talk about that here a little bit. Mojo's winter special Blitz scoring. Now we took a look at this a little bit uh, a couple days ago because we could see the rewards. Rewards look very good for this. As we mentioned in last week's blog that Mojo's winter special event is coming soon. Include Blitz scoring milestone as one of the ways to earn rewards. And this is super Super controversial in my opinion. One thing you'll notice when the event goes live is that players will earn more points per battle by blitzing manually compared to using the new blitz sim feature. Now this, I take issue with this sentence and I'll explain why right here. This scoring detail is made to accommodate players who have not yet unlocked blitz sim and making it more an equitable experience. If there is a huge spread between blitzing sim and playing it manually and it looks like it is going to be a huge amount of time investment to finish this event at max rewards and if they are selling us a way of saving time like they've done in the past then that makes that sentence a bold faced lie i believe that they are going to have a, a, a drastically different scoring system based on Blitz Sim and playing it manually. And then it's going to be in, way better to Blitz manually. And if you don't want to Blitz a lot and spend a lot of time, the alternative will be you can buy packs and you can save time. I don't think this has anything to do with anything at all. I think it's just a means for them to sell us packs. I will reserve judgment until I see that that is actually what they're doing. But I'm, I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now that the reason they're doing this is to sell us packs to save time so that we don't have to blitz manually. I'm calling it now. I don't think this is the truth, what they said right there. 
Mojo's Winter Special is just the first event to incorporate Blitz Sim, as we'll be applying the scoring update to future events. We'll be monitoring the play experience during these events and make adjustments as needed so each event may have a different point reward disparities between manual and sim blitz. We'll see. I, I suppose I should give them the benefit of the doubt, but I really think they're just going to sell us packs so that we can avoid blitzing manually. And to save time, we'll just have to spend money. It's just that's the way they do these things. Emma Frost Milestones, yes! Go digging in diamonds in January during our final run of the Emma Frost Milestones. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, they did say they're going to change the milestone orbs and they're gonna, they're not going to be updating the, the milestone orbs anymore. This will be your last chance to bolster the White Queen via these recurring milestones. I can't wait to get Emma to seven. Fight in battle, spin campaign energy and gold to hit milestones for Emma Frost character shards. Just like previous iteration, the High Roller Milestone contains additional milestone tier. And the five T4 ability meters have been replaced with eight severe basic catalyst parts. All right. Eight SBCs is nothing. Literally, you need like 2,500 of them to go from zero to 15. Some characters need 1,400 just to go to zero to 14. Eight is nothing. Um, I don't know. I'd rather have the T4s, I guess. I don't know. SBCs, man, is a real crunch, man. Uh, anyways, MMR Frost Milestone is coming in the near future, so be on the lookout. Okay, New Year's calendar. Hit the ground running in 2021 with a special calendar that not only help you ring in the new year, but help you ring your enemy's bell as well. Log in every day for 14 days. Re reap rewards include orange war orbs, gear credits, and raid gear orbs. Arena store update. This is kind of a big deal. We're going to get swarm in there. So I'm saving my currency, my arena store currency for swarm. Cool. I actually like swarm. I I'm going to be excited to get swarm up to uh, seven stars. Let's do it. Upcoming blitzes. Uh, coming out to give you plenty of chances to add uh, new characters, more strength and heavy firepower to your roster. And it looks like uh, Longshot and Yelena are going to be Blitz. Let's read it though. Uh, blitz for the week of 1221. Shine a spotlight on the fighters from the other dimensions and timelines that come together for holiday chair cables out of the gate. Mm -hmm. uh, then after that, we're going to have Longshot. And there's going to be two Longshot Blitzes. Then say Saturday night 2020 with the blitzes for the week of 1228, which the first showcase Rocket Raccoon. Okay. Then the second launch shock. Then the week of the 4th of January uh, will be Call. Yay. We talked about that yesterday. That's kind of a big deal. And then we're going to get uh, Yelena. So Call Blitz is kind of a big deal. And then we're going to have, uh, my guess is at least two Yelena blitzes. Very cool. All right. Recurring legendary events, and then they're talking about uh, the repositioning. They, they they switched the order around for Ebony Ma and Shuri, which threw a lot of people off. Um, we've got a couple legendaries making the return to the coming weeks. One veteran, one rookie, Wakanda's Tech Guri. So they're talking about Shuri, uh, which is, requires Spider-Verse, right? And uh, that'll happen, I believe, on the 28th. And then, if you want a little extra to celebrate as we flip the calendars to 2021, Surgical Strike, Doc Ock is arriving next. And this is the reason why uh, I'm trying to get Domino up and running, is I believe this will happen on the 11th, the Doc Ock, and we're gonna need, I'm going to need Domino to get uh, seven on that. Bonus and Flash events, double your character shard rewards and stock up valuable resources with these upcoming bonus and Flash events. For all bonus events, fill your roster. Using the feature trait to find all eligible characters and the corresponding nodes. All right, cool. Whether you're looking to recruit Iron Man or just bolstering your war defense, the calling all agent events for you. Don't miss scooping up double shard rewards for shield. Don't forget two times zero is still z is still zero. And, uh, and then they're also going to do it for aim. All right, very cool. And then they're going to have uh, another uh, 2x P throttle event, which is good for getting to level 80. I'm hoping to be there in the next two weeks or so. Available to commanders who are above level 61. Uh, earn double XP rewards in the campaign nodes for a limited time. And so uh, then they got some other 2X events for hand and uh, the Shuri event. That's great. And then we're going to get a payday event. Um, it's I, I no information on an orb opening event. And I think that's the biggest problem. Um, I think we were expecting something. So. Uh, if you want to know what I'm doing for my orbs, uh, like I said, watch the video up there in the top right hand corner. Uh, I'm saving some orbs, but I opened a lot of orbs and, I, and I'm not sure people should be saving orbs at this point. 
Uh, it seems to me that two years ago, they got greedy and tried to sell us a bunch of orbs and they created an orb opening event when the design was to get us to buy orbs, right? And what happened is they've, they've led us into this cluster of saving and hoarding, which I don't think they intended by their greed two years ago by introducing that event. I think they should have never went down that path. What do you think about all of that? Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.